like a bell cut. Alrighty, YouTube. So there are four major pieces that we need to train and coach when trying to train for acceleration or trying to train to run faster. The first piece is gonna be our positioning piece. So we start with positioning with a little bit of a wall drill. So right here, you're gonna see me dive in. I'm going to have my feet staggered back, hands up about a little lower than shoulder height so that we can create a somewhat aggressive angle of the body towards the wall. Hips are through. One knee is gonna come up with my toes pointed. You're gonna have what is called a load. So I'm loading my back leg, the leg that is planted, creating weight and power through it. Then right here, lift. So I'm gonna shoot through. The point of right here is we're trying to create triple extension. So what triple extension means is right here, my ankle is extended with my foot plantar flex, which means toes into the ground. Knee is fully extended and my hips are extended and pushed through the wall. So watch again, full speed. So load, back, and lift. Load, and lift. So right there, that's how we're training the positioning pattern of how to run faster. Alrighty guys, so that's how we trained for position through that wall drill. Second thing we've got to train for out of our four is patterning. So we're patterning our movements of our acceleration or running faster steps. So nice hard drives into the ground. We're gonna be doing that with a second wall drill. So similar to right here on the wall, aggressive angle, leg is up. I'm going to load again, lift with my extension and then switch, driving my foot in the ground. So load, lift, switch, load, lift, switch. So really aggressive drives all the way into the ground to make sure we're patterning our acceleration drives from each step into the ground while running faster. That's piece number two. Alrighty YouTube, so piece number three of training to run faster for acceleration is going to be adding resistance. So you can do this in a few different forms, having a partner holding a bungee, that's pulling you back, adding some weight on while you're running, or what I'm gonna use is a parachute strapped to my waist with this little waist belt. So what I'm gonna be doing is about a five to 10 yard takeoff, just from a sprint position, right after I toss my parachute up from a two point stance, doing that a few different times to add resistance in to make sure my patterning and positioning is staying true to what we just did on those wall drills. So go ahead and watch me go through this first one right here, then we'll be diving into piece number four. Alrighty team, so the fourth piece for training for running faster is to be free, or let them be free if you're coaching them. Mainly, we're gonna take off all resistance, no more positioning or patterning coaching. Just let them run, give them a few reps and sets, and get it over with. So, right here, I've got a 10 yard sprint that we're gonna to get to into a few different rounds. Go ahead, watch me do it. That's the fourth piece for training to be faster. guys i hope you enjoyed today's video of training to run faster be on the lookout for more videos similar to this one and i'll smell you guys next time